PTSD, we know that's a major problem now because so many of our military people have been in combat and suffer from combat stresses uh, from Vietnam, Korea, and, of course, now Afghanistan and Iraq. And Dr. Al Johnson joins us now, a doctor who's treated veterans with PTSD and has done a survey. And, Dr. Johnson, how prevalent is PTSD among our veterans? Well, the Wounded Warriors did a, a survey and found that three-fourths of the servicemen answered questions that would relate to having PTSD or a traumatic brain injury. That's called TBI. What are some uh, of the symptoms, Doc? Well, they can have everything from uh, memory problems to lack of energy to uh, depression to anxiety, uh, uh, just the lack of, of ambition, uh, irritable outbursts, uh, uh, different problems with memory, uh, short-term memory and long-term memory. And then uh, just uh, with traumatic brain injury, you have a physical dysfunction too, where part of the brain is injured from a uh, blast, the, bo- the IED uh, blast. And uh, they may have uh, problems with uh, the right leg working, the left leg working, uh, you know, arms, um, then problems with the, with just uh, mental function. Now, that would be physical problems, but I'm guessing some of the other things, symptoms you mentioned, have to be dealt with either psychologically or uh, through psychiatric help, right? Well, exactly. And there's... there's studying that and, and the, the government spent 50 million dollars uh and with studying it uh there's a um, mr fisher from new york has set up in trepid center uh where they're working on treatment for uh these uh, brain injured individuals uh, at Bethesda. He, he self-funded it to build a facility of 65 million dollars they only have treated uh, like 250 people warriors a year, which is just a uh, very, very uh, small percentage of those that have the injury. Uh, the survey from the wounded warriors uh, believe that there's about 320,000 uh, veterans suffering from traumatic brain injury and another 400 from PTSD, which uh, would be the, as you described, the, the psychological aspects that are there. Uh, just from what they saw or from what they experienced. Why aren't they getting enough money to be able to do this? You mentioned that really a little bit of money that dealing with 400,000 members of our military, why aren't they funding this better? Well, that's a good question. Uh, uh, the military has kind of been put on the back burner as far as, as being paid attention to, uh, unfortunately. Uh, they're trying to understand it better, and they, they have basically left it up to the, the, the VA to kind of take care of these people. Uh, and the VA, as we know, is not functioning very well. And so, it's overwhelmed as well. We know that from here at Haley and, and uh, in St. Petersburg at the um, Bill, uh, Bill Young, Bill Young Center, Center, too. Yeah, exactly. And so I, I they just need to get refocused on that, uh, on the issue. Uh, Wounded Warriors has really helped. Uh, this recent study uh, points out the need. Uh, there's a study about, uh, I think, a year and a half ago or two years ago showing that uh, the medication cost of treating a uh, vet with uh, PTSD was about thirty-two thousand dollars a year, just the medication. Wow! Uh, you know, when you're looking at that, there's got to be something wrong with that, with that scenario, and, and find a better way to uh, to work with these these vets. Well, let's hope that they will better fund the uh, VA in the future and spend more money on our military. I don't understand why we cut back at a time when the world is becoming so much more dangerous. And our, we're shrinking the military, and we're cutting back on the funding of the military. And that's one thing the government has done well over the years. 
is defend the country. And for some reason, that's the one thing we're all of a sudden saying, well, let's not do that anymore. Well, exactly. And I'm part of a, a study where we're looking at <clears throat> raising private funds to treat a thousand vets with uh, hyperbaric oxygen treatment, which the pilot study, study showed that 80 percent of the vets that were treated with hyperbaric oxygen that had traumatic brain injury were able to get back to some useful functional uh, state uh, when they were not before. So it's a promising thing, but to raise money for that has been really difficult. Uh, we tried to get bill through Congress uh, on four different years, uh, hasn't made it. Uh, and so now we're seeking private funding uh, to get these thousand vets treated. And that to treat them costs uh, just $17,000. And that's uh, a one-time treatment that gives you... Uh, and, well, it's money well spent. Results. Dr. Johnson, we're out of time, but what is your website if people want to get more information or perhaps contribute? It's uh, hyperbariccentersoftexas.com uh, or johnsonmedicalassociates.com. johnsonmedicalassociates.com. That's easy to remember. And, Dr. Johnson, thanks for joining us on AM Tampa Bay. Thank you, Doc. Oh, you're welcome.